Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of an advanced technique. So here we have reverse French or inbuilt French using acrylic powders. Okay, so before we start with the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification. So now let's begin with the video. So here is my client's nails today as you can see we have some uh, polishes on our nails so I started uh, with removing that using acetone and cotton. So whenever we have a client um, so first we have to see how their nails are if they have like any leftover product from previous extensions or uh, gel polish or even regular polish anything that is there just try to remove it if it's easily removable okay and then uh, we start with our uh, dry manicure so for dry manicure so I'm again touching the very basics of nail extension so I'm starting with pushing back the cuticle so here I'm using a orange wood stick to push back the cuticle so here you need to uh, see how I push that back and once you push back the cuticle we start with the dry manicure with a hand file so most of the time I use uh, electric file but today I decided to go back to the basics so this is how we start so I hold her fingers from the top side and and then I start from the middle uh, part of the cuticle area and then I go towards the right side so when I do this I'm gentle I'm not putting putting too much pressure uh, because we don't want to over file it just gentle slight pressure just to make sure that we are able to remove the dead skin around that area okay so now again uh, once we do the right side uh, then we go to the left side and then we again go uh, to the right side and once you have the corners ready dust off check if we have any leftover again then go back and do one more time the filing and once you're happy with the cuticle area then you can just uh, buff the rest of the nail plate and remove the shine from the nail plate okay so here i'm using a 100 uh, 180 grit uh, hand file the side that i'm using is the 180 grit now remember if your client has a damaged nail or weak thin nail then obviously you can't use a 180 grit file instead you can use a 220 or or a 240 or you can use a buffer to buff off the shine from the nail plate okay once I removed uh, all the shine from the nail plate I'm using the same hand fire to gently buff down the extra length of her natural nails okay so now here only we have only a little growth so I can just get rid of that extra uh, growth using a hand file now if your client has like really long nails then you can use your nail cutter to trim down that now it's time to clean the nail plate i'm using lint free wipe and alcohol to clean the nail plate as you can see i'm literally rubbing the nail plate and also the underneath side of the nail just to make sure that there is no dust oil moisture nothing is left on the nail plate this is very important because all these steps will ensure that your extensions are long lasting now uh, after cleaning the nail plate uh, it's time for us to measure the nail tips so in today's video i am using nail tips to do almond nails and in the last video i used nail forms to create the almond nails if you haven't watched that video please go ahead and watch uh, it's available in my channel and in case if you wish to see this video in hindi language then uh, check out my hindi channel this video is already live on my hindi ch hindi channel so now coming back to the tip application so this is how you measure the tip just make sure that the tip is reaching both the corners of your nail plate and then once you have all the size ready uh, so now this tip i have mentioned it in my other video also uh, so this is something that i now regularly follow uh, i after measuring the tips i use my uh, 180 grit file and file down the thickness of this french curve area to more than 50 percent okay and uh, if you do this uh, the benefit is one this way filing down is faster and after you apply it you are supposed to blend it with the nail plate and if you have a very thin uh, edges then when you file it on the natural nail plate you don't have to file too much and obviously it will uh, you know reduce the risk of over filing the natural nail plate okay now after uh, trimming down the thickness of the fi of, uh, the tip i applied the glue and then i attached the tip to the nail plate just like this make sure your tip is straight there is no air bubble uh, between the nail plate and the uh, glue 
and also make sure there is no gap between the tip and your free edge and uh, after this uh, whenever i do i just turn the fingers and see if it's straight or not and then once you have all the tips on you can cut down the length as per your client's preference so uh, i just mentioned we are going to learn how to do almond nails or reshape the tip into almond so as you can see uh, the tip that we used is kind of a deep c curve square um it tips right so first you start with like cutting down the uh, length of the nails i mean the tips and after that you can take a nail cutter okay so nail cutter has a curvy blade so this way you can cut down the side so when you cut down make sure you're cutting you're going in uh, at the uh free edge side okay not towards the natural nail the free edge side is what you cut down go uh what i meant is you go inside to inside so now you can see how i already have a almond shape so let's see one more time so this way put the nail cutter inside and then trim so when i'm trimming mostly i'm trimming trimming the free edge area not towards the natural nail area okay so now uh you can see we already have the almond shape formed and now all we have to do is just use the hand file and blend it uh, and then make it like a really nice round uh, almondy shape okay so this is the easiest way Sec there are many other ways also but uh this is one of the easiest way to reshape your tips into almond shape and as you can see when you are filing and reshaping just make sure that you are very gentle don't put too much pressure when filing and also you have to have your eyes peeled on the shaping otherwise you will end up with one side proper almond and the other side over filed okay after shaping it i am using my hand file to blend uh, the edges of my tips uh, here i <laughs> i hate banana shaped file so this was kind of not working for me so i switched to my favorite shape which is moon shape uh, hand file and as you can see with like one or two uh, movements i am able to like blend it easily so um, i don't recommend the banana shaped hand file uh, especially if you're a beginner uh, i uh, recommend a moon shape or square or the diamond shape once all three works fine but the banana one is very difficult to actually manage and it's uh, kind of thin also it thin in the sense width wise it's thin okay so now we just buffed and uh, blended the tip with the nail plate and also removed the tips shine and after that again dust off just make sure that nail plate is absolutely clean we don't want any dust or anything on the nail plate uh, just make sure that your hands are also clean because all the filing and all as you can see there are there is dust accumulated on my uh, gloves uh, which i did not do notice during the uh, process uh, but uh, it's a good thing that you dust off your hands also so that when you do, uh, start with your dehydrator primer application there won't be anything falling off from your gloves to the nail plate okay so now the nails are ready again i wiped it with alcohol and lint free wipe and now we start with the dehydrator application okay so dehydrator as you know we use it to make sure that there is no oil moisture nothing on the nail plate once you start applying the dehydrator and primer tell your customer not to touch their face or hair because face we have creams uh, hair we have conditioner shampoo um, but what not right so they should not touch anything after this part okay so sometimes because you don't notice and the client will touch their face and all and their cream whatever they have on their face might get into the nail plate and then without noticing you will apply the product and eventually that product will lift okay so these are tiny tiny things which you need to keep in mind so i applied the acid free primer also now it's time for the product application for that i'm taking out a monomer uh, using a dropper so this is one of the safest way there is another way also you can use your brush to pour monomer into the dip and dish and uh, uh, the acrylic powder i'm using is from mia secret and uh, uh, the brush i'm using is from cards it's a kolinsky brush number 8 one of my favorite brushes and it's really really old uh, around like 7 8 years old i still use them uh so now let's start the application so here we are doing a reverse french so as you can see how i release the bead okay so if you have seen my previous uh, videos the uh, i 
just place it right away uh, but here i did a reverse application okay after placing the bead what i did was i just blended the back side of the bead with the nail plate and then using the brush i'm creating that french curve okay so uh uh, whenever we are doing a reverse French application it's a little complicated process okay so if you want you can also draw a French line smile line and then you can you know kind of uh, keep the product within that lane and if you have experience uh, then you can just directly uh, you know do the kind of smiley smile line creation just like that okay so here uh, 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 we have already created the smile line now we are going to finish the cuticle application okay so i take another bead and place it right behind it and then i'm going to blend it and i create my apex and uh, you know the structure of the nails so half of the nail is ready and uh, whatever gap we have left we are going to fill it with uh, you know if you want you can use white color if you want you can use another uh, you know uh, colored acrylic or you can use glitter smilers whatever you want to okay so that's how we created the french line and i'm going to show you this same process one more time so here i have not uh, sped up the video so so that you can see how much time it takes to uh, actually do this part okay so after finishing uh, this uh, design i realized i should have gone a little bit more deeper on the side so not necessary so here if you see i uh, kind of move the bead all the way to the side was the lateral force right so uh, when you do the reverse french um, i don't do it very often so um, i didn't realize that i am like kind of closing that edges so uh, when you do that just keep a little bit more gap uh, around this uh, side wall or the lateral walls area so that you have like a deep uh, what we call french uh, line okay so anyways um so here again we did the exact same thing using the brush we created the smile line and then we fill the uh, cuticle area also now it's time for us to apply the glitter acrylic but before we apply the glitter uh, glitter acrylic uh, or before we create the uh, reverse french we need to file and do a little bit of shaping to the smile line okay even though we took extra time and effort to create that smiley line we still may need to uh, kind of you know file and give it like a nice and crisp shape okay so for this uh, as you can see on the screen i'm using a, a thin uh, hand file with the same grid 180 grid so this one it was easy the the other one uh, the which i was using that was kind of a little difficult to uh, keep it straight because of that extra width around the air, uh, side area so i use the very thin fi hand file to file and shape it okay once you are happy with your smile life filing then you can dust off clean the nail plate again and then we can start with the glitter application so this is the glitter i'm using here today this is from model ones it's a holographic uh, yellowy glitter uh, very beautiful very sparkly um so um if you are a blinky person this is perfect for you you can check out model one's website if you want to buy this uh, so i leave i picked up a glitter bead glitter acrylic bead and then i use my brush to kind of slightly move it to the uh, corners and i'm going to just basically fill that uh, leftover area of the smile line and i'm going to build it with glitter okay so now one thing i realized is that um the glitter acrylic that i am using so you can if you don't have a glitter acrylic ready made you can always create one use a little bit of clear acrylic put your glitter and mix it and then you can use it as a bead okay uh, if you have a glitter acrylic well and good so this one when i was applying here the the clear acrylic was a little less so i had a little bit of a hard time leveling it up it took a little extra time to level it up but then uh, after like one or two fingers it was easy so we are filling the uh, uh, free edge area with the glitters so here we are not going to pack it with the glitters 
we are just leveling it because now there is one more step to complete this application which is to encapsulate it okay so for encapsulation we are going to use clear acrylic so you finish all your 5 10 fingers like this process and then you can come back and you can do the encapsulation okay so by doing encapsulation you can also get the exact architecture of the nail plate uh, so when you look from the side angle you will see like uh, this is not like completely leveled and plus we need uh, something on top of the glitter otherwise when we file it half of the glitter will uh, come off in chunks okay so that's the reason we uh, encapsulate it with glitter and uh, if you think you don't have like enough apex uh, created uh, while you created the smile line so this is your time to build up the uh, apex also with the clear okay so as you can see on the screen i just completed the encapsulation so it's quite fast once you have the smile line then rest of the process is like faster so now i'm using an electric file and a carbide bit to file and define the smile line okay so now if you see we have we have a little bit of glue litter here and there so all that will go off with this filing so if you see my filing here is mostly focused on the smile line so i'm just going to file and uh, you know remove all the excess uh, glitters and excess thickness from here once i'm done with this filing then i'll switch to a a uh, hand file and just give it a good buff and I'll smoothen it out. So after filing, buffing, shaping, this is how the nails looks like. Again, I'm using lint-free and alcohol to clean the nail plate before I apply the top coat. So uh, for top coat, I'll be using a no wipe gel top coat. Uh, just make sure that you have no dust whatsoever on your nail plate. If you have, then when you apply the top coat, then you will see tiny, teeny, tiny bumps over your nail plate. Okay, so to avoid that, just make sure your nails are totally clean. So now uh, just apply the top coat. So this is when the, uh, you know, all the hard work you have done. So that is going to come to an end uh, with that beautiful finish. So I really like the way this turned out except the part that uh, it the smile line has become like totally around. I wanted it to be like a little bit more deeper. But anyways, uh, next time maybe after you finish your top coat application i'm applying a little bit of cuticle oil because we used a lot of alcohol and acetone and things so just to moisture the skin apply uh, cuticle oil and with that uh, that's how we do a reverse french i hope you guys like this video if you like it don't forget to give it a like share comment also don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy and thank you for watching Bye bye